In today's video, we're gonna watch some more TikTok conspiracies. Let's get into it. This house, Adam's in the black mold. I am two souls known as a black hole. Soul so dark, you can't see where to go. Yeah, you can hear it in the shadows. Rats crawling around, you can feel it in your chest. So you gotta catch your breath, wishing for death. As I bless the souls of the depressed, the stress that could digest. Yeah. It's not in the past tense, I don't have any existence, no one with any resistance. Deep down in the mind, I be dreaming, I cannot stop the screaming. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this video is to throw shade at anybody that doesn't believe that we could build pyramids today. I'm not on the fe I'm not on the agreement side of this video. I do think it's incredibly impressive on the things that we can build and that's really kind of why I have this video in here is because there's a bunch of monumental things going on in this video that's just incredible to witness. But as far as being able to build the pyramids today, I think personally we can definitely build the pyramids. If we're talking about the pyramids of Egypt, that's a different story. A general pyramid, like ones that you find in Mexico and places like that, their surroundings are a little different and their structure is a little different. But if we're talking about the pyramids of Egypt, that's a whole nother story. We're talking about a place full of sand, nowhere for miles upon miles to get resources from that, that would structure those pyramids. That's a different beast altogether. We would have to, in order to build a pyramid like the pyramids of Egypt, we would have to construct roads, we would have to construct all different kinds of support systems just to be able to handle the weight of the stones and, and being able to stack them. But once we got the structure around the base of building, I'm pretty certain we could build pyramids that are like the ones in Egypt. I'm not 100% sure. Please leave a comment letting me know your beliefs because I would love to hear it. Um, but I, I feel like we could build the pyramids today. They would probably be a way different structure of being built. They wouldn't be as hazardous from the inside. But I think we could, honestly. Thought I would sprinkle a little bit of nightmare fuel in there for you. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Bro, look yeah, at these what clouds. A weird phenomenon, dude. What, what is going is on? That? What is that? Okay. But look over there, there's a circle on that's uh the Separate. actual cloud. Yes. Yeah. It's like a missing puzzle piece or something. What is going on here? With these clouds. I really would like to know what's going on here with these clouds, because the the two in one spot okay coincidence maybe but when you pan over and there's more in different spots and they're all almost perfectly symmetrical it's like what is that i like to believe i like to believe that maybe there was like ufos there and that's the after effects of them lifting off you just see the plume of cloud that got absorbed within the takeoff that kind of is what that looks like to me that would be crazy if you have any ideas of what that is, please, please let me know. Look, y'all, look, look. So, you know, I'm just at the airport, right? And I zoom in. What the fuck? Two moons in the sky? Two moons in the sky. Like, how does that happen? Again, y'all. Last week, it was Saudi Arabia with two moons in the sky. And I can't really tell where this airport is at, but this plane says Korean Air. So, I don't know where this video is at. But, again, two moons in the sky, y'all. What is going on? And I just got this video sent to me yesterday. This is Canada. The geese are already flying north. They are already flying north. Three months early, you guys. They are already flying north. Whoops. Where's winter? What happened to winter? Hmm? North. It's over, y'all. The geese are flying back home. 
Winter's already done. Look, the trees all around the world are be are becoming green. All around the world, y'all. So let me know what you guys think about this video. This video is strictly for entertainment purposes only. I am only raising awareness to interesting situations during this interesting time. I don't know if that really is two moons or what. I honestly, to be completely and totally honest, I really think that the main bright subject was the moon and the dimmer subject was probably a... Uh, a camera glare probably a reflection on the camera glass that was reflecting the moon but not exposing its brightness as bright as the actual moon because it was just a dimmed reflection of it that sounds a little crazy but that's what i think it is but i could be completely wrong i am not sure if you guys have any input please let me know because i would like to know i've seen other videos like this but this one was way more detailed that one that one honestly didn't look like a reflection or any kind of type of reflection of the of the moon, but it, it could have been. Hey, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. I only ask once per video and I make a video like this almost every day and it would be awesome to see you come back again tomorrow. <laughs> I love you both. Okay? No, no, you gotta get out of here. Hey, stop, sorry. Come down. God God runs the world. Then under that you got thousand year old family medici under that you have the vatican mm. the pope under okay. that you have the financial group that control all your shit black rock Vanguard. after that you have putin you have trump you have all this shit and after that you got what all this shit is entertainment hollywood entertainment my control that, run that back run in the schools he just whatever. broke it down hey man yay's on another level i haven't heard from yay in a little while I'm not necessarily a believer in everything that he says, but I find it extremely interesting when he really like goes hard into this theory um, because he makes valid points. He's in the music industry. He knows the ins and outs of how businessmen operate. He's probably been offered to be in certain spots that made him feel uncomfortable. Or it could all be propaganda. It could be all just a stunt for media purposes. But... To me, he's really taking it a step farther than what I would think a person of media would do because he's been kind of burnt by it, by having his brand deals taken, people disliking him, and basically him just disappearing off the face of the earth for a while. So it's really hard to tell, but I find what he says pretty interesting because he kind of falls in the line with a lot of other people that have the same theory ideas. So to see someone with such, like, I don't want to say power, but to see someone with such a title, I guess, talk about these things makes you wonder, what has he heard and seen deep inside the industry? Somebody needs to explain to me what's going on here. I need to know what this is, bro. That's a sea dragon. That what what is that coming out of the ocean, man? Look how long this thing is. I never seen this in the history of life. What is that? Bro. Bro. It's still going. Let me find out that's taller than the bridge. What? That's a sea dragon, bro. The cameraman is just the worst. Like, it, th th this camera guy is the worst, man. What? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that camera guy, need, there, somebody needs to fire that camera guy ASAP. Look how long that is, bro. What is that? I need answers in the comment section right now, bro. I need answers. Where are they at, first of all? It looks like it looks like they might be out like the Dominican Republic or or, or, or not Puerto Rico, probably like like Cuba or like somewhere. What is going on, Mexico? Maybe even Mexico. That thing. What now? What's that right there in the water? Oh, that's sea lions. Oh, you got the sea lions chilling. They just they looking at everything too. The sea lions is even amazed. Like, man, what the heck is that? <laughs> you know it's bad when the sea lions don't know what it is. 
Look how long that thing is, bro. That's crazy. I need answers, man. That is a terrifying looking fish. I'm pretty sure these are what are called oar fish. I'll pop up an image somewhere around there that is like terrifying. I'm not necessarily afraid of the ocean. There's only a couple of things that I would be really afraid of seeing in the ocean. That's a shark, an octopus, and one of those because that's just terrifying looking. I'm pretty certain they're harmless, but whew, not a normal looking creature. I've also read that when you start seeing a large number of oarfish, that means something bad is going to be happening. And I know a few months ago, oarfish were making an appearance more and more frequently across the world. So makes me wonder what's going on in the oceans that's upsetting them. Guys, oh my god, watch this. I saw a really interesting video the other day that said that in 1983, making $30,000 a year is equivalent to 2024 making $164,000 a year. So our parents grew up comfortably on $30,000 a year, very comfortably. And we have to make $164,000 a year just to live the same way that our parents lived in 1983. I think that stat really shows how much inflation has impacted everyone, and it makes a lot of sense now why no one can afford shit. Because making $30,000 a year in 1983 was sufficient because eggs were like 50 cents, maybe even 20 cents, and now it's like $9 for a can of 12. So although the price of everything in your life has gone up, car insurance, rent, groceries, food, everything, the price of everything has gone up, Wages have not. And that's a huge problem because now 90% of people are living paycheck to paycheck in the U.S. And that stat really puts it into perspective. I feel like I got spat all over. But uh, what he's saying, he's not wrong, but he's not looking at the, the full picture either. Yes, 30 some odd thousand dollars, definitely the equivalent to 100 plus thousand dollars today. But not everybody was making that, you know, in that time frame. Not everybody was making that at all. Like, a lot of people were lucky to be making $8,000 to $12,000 a year. And that's, they had to live basically how they, that we have to live today with today's prices. Not everyone was making $30,000 plus a year in that time frame. Yes, the equivalent might be the same, but not everyone was making that money. It'll be all right. I just tell myself it'll be all right. We're all good. All right. All right. Sitting all alone, yeah, deep in my thoughts. Don't really know where I am, yeah, I'm lost. Please be careful in situations like this because you should test the mirrors, especially if you're in a public restroom because you don't know if that's a two-way mirror or not unless you test it. And basically like that ending image showed, if your finger is touching finger on the reflection, it's a two-way mirror. But if your finger has a slight separation, it is not a two-way mirror. So keep that in mind because I'm telling you that can change your whole perspective of mirrors and what's behind them. It was not just the titans or the massive ancient trees. Though perhaps if you look into the King of Wing in New Mexico, you'll find the axe that was used to cut down some of these trees, though a much smaller version. Geology really truly is nothing more than the study of hardened biology. These are not just a few examples of mushrooms that look like rocks. You can literally find hundreds and thousands of these all over the world, told to us that they're nothing more than just erosion. Much like the giant trees, they say, are nothing more than hexagonal columns spewing ancient volcanoes, though never replicated again in recent times. In order for us to be sold on the lies of the theory of evolution, they had to dismiss our much larger past, the giants and all the inhabitants along with it. And as always, the parasites of this realm told us to dismiss the evidence of our eyes and ears, it was their final and most essential command. But once your eyes are truly open, 
You can see these mud fossils everywhere. And it is certainly no pareidolia. Question everything, friends. Until next time. I am very interested about this. Normally it takes place with petrified or stoned um, individuals like people or animals. But I really like the idea that all of those, because I, I, that never came across my mind. All of those supposedly eroded rocks that do look like mushrooms or prehistoric trees probably are mushrooms that are just petrified due to age and time. It, that is way more believable to be true if that's the case because those were so mushroom-esque that it's not even funny. You couldn't convince me otherwise. Now that I have that image in mind, all I see is mushrooms, and I'm pretty sure that that's what those are. Those are just giant petrified mushrooms. So that's pretty crazy. What do you guys think about this? I really like that. The experience you call autism usually invokes a highly focused point of view in a very narrow window of expression and understanding. But in so doing, you get to see demonstrated very clearly the potential, the full potential of the expression of that particular aspect of the personality. Autistic people thus have chosen to demonstrate to each and every one of you in different ways, in different slices of personality expression, what you're all actually capable of if you allow yourselves to operate in full mode. Do you understand me so far? Yes, I do. All right. So they are giving you a loving opportunity to see the potential in each and every one of you. They are being specialists, and they are allowing you to understand how you can be a broader form of generalist by allowing yourself to live in the moment more fully, with more focus on every moment in living in the present, and in so choosing to do that, then simply knowing what you need to know in that moment for that particular focus and not necessarily spending time wondering or worrying whether you're going to be in the proper focus, whether or not you're going to have all the proper information that you need at that moment. In many ways, you could say our society is highly autistic because we don't really plan in that sense. We simply know that we will know what we need to know when we need to know it. Not a moment before, but not a moment later. Therefore, in every given moment that we are interacting with something, it has our absolute full attention, our full energy focus, and in that moment, we are specializing in living in that now reality and absolutely no other. No thoughts of what was in the past, no thoughts of what will be in the future, which are illusions anyway. So the idea is they are teaching you how to live more in the now. The idea is to be here now because the process you're going through is the entire point of having the physical life. Life is process. The journey is the destination. There is nowhere else to get to. Here is where you all need to be, in what is happening right now. That's the most important thing. There is nothing more important than what's happening right now. This was pretty interesting. I kind of like what this individual has to say. I think his name is Bashar. I'm not 100% sure if that's who he is. But uh, I see at the bottom of the video, it says full video on Bashar.org. So that's kind of my, that's kind of my lead. But uh, I kind of like what he has to say. This one was a little bit over my head with being autistic and having these traits of whatever he was talking about definitely went over my head i really just enjoy it more or less because i enjoyed reading the comments but what he says normally is pretty fascinating to me I, i'm gonna have to watch this one again to get a better understanding of exactly what he's talking about because kind of did not click with me on this one it's really weird how, like, for instance, the Earth has almost the exact same amount of water as we do in our body, and how our blood is composed of iron. It's the same core that the Earth spins. We're, like, perfectly designed for this Earth, is the best way to describe it. Yes. Like, perfect here. But not in a way where we're supposed to be hunter-gathering or living primitively. All of a sudden, the hair mostly lost off our body. All of the traits that would be necessary for us to survive in the way we've been told just all of a sudden vanished. And someone would be like, well, evolutionarily, they, they, they don't need them anymore. But no, this happened, like, at a 
of nowhere. It's not like is a slow thing. And we've also never observed any kind of a primate in any stage of a change over the course of human history ever. Never. Not even one slight change where it was like converting into something else. And I'm not someone who's completely against all aspects of evolution. Sure. I want to make that clear. What I realize is that evolution may be more based on the macro versus the micro. So like some, for instance, I think that something, an animal, yes, can, can develop more hair or change things like, yeah, those things absolutely happen. But for something to be able to, for instance, go from a giraffe or like a whale to us, I don't understand how that'd be possible. And I want to give an example of that. I talk about how in, Austra- in Australia, there's a creature there that I believe proves that evolution isn't exactly what we've been told. Not what's the n- creature? The platypus. Are you familiar with the platypus? Yes, I am familiar with the platypus. Platypus is the weirdest goddamn animal on earth. <laughs> it's a mammal that lays eggs that's poisonous, mm. that is supposed to be like a half bird, half duck. It doesn't make sense. I mean, honestly, basically what he was saying through this video is how I feel on every video that I watch. He was just saying he didn't get it in many different ways. Um, I do think, though, what he said about the Earth is definitely true. We are a fine-tuned creature for the Earth. Every living organism is. That's how it always has been. Everything is perfectly attuned to operate on Earth, and I, I love that. That's an amazing thing. But other than that, what he was talking about, and it switched over to the platypus, just kind of was like, what? <laughs> oh! Yeah, I found one. So, okay, saya dapat. Ini yang saya jijin. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, saya sudah taklukkan. Hmm, harumnya. Oke, okay, teman-teman, lanjut makan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kita makan bagian perutnya dulu. Bismillah. Hmm. What was that? I'm pretty sure that was a prop piece that had a chicken feet on it. Maybe made out of hog snout or something. I don't know, but I would have not been able to eat that, I don't think, without... Mm-mm. Just like that, it's a wrap for the iPhone, it's a wrap for all these smartphones, it's a wrap for Alexa, Google, all them jokers, because I asked Alexa this. Hey Alexa, order me an Uber. Hmm, I don't know that. Hey Alexa, order me a pizza. I've added pizza to Savannah's Fresh Cart. What else would you like from Fresh? Can you order me a pizza from Pizza Hut? I've added pizza. What else? Disney. Like I said, we've been dealing with these smartphones for like 15 years and they can only perform basic functions like calling and then you got these apps and it's all these pages of apps that you just got to go through and scroll through and yo, whatever. But check this out right here. Time to bring AI from words to action. Finally, we can build a computer that in addition to understanding what you're trying to say, can actually help you do things on your behalf. We pack the large action model into an advanced Rabbit OS operating system. It is built for real-time interactions between you and the Rabbit, powered by Lab. Large action model's concept and test results are so powerful that we decided to make a one-of-a-kind mobile device. Introducing R1, your pocket companion. <laughs> Designed in collaboration with Teenage Engineering, the R1 is a fully standalone device, primarily driven by natural language. The accumulation of countless hours of work from our research, design, and software teams. It is simple to use. R1 is equipped with everything you need to interact with you and perceive your surroundings. It comes with a touchscreen, a push-to-talk button, and an analog scroll wheel. A microphone and speakers and a computer vision enabled 360-degree rotational camera we call the Rabbit Eye. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capable, and it has the same card slots that supports global 4G LTE network. And now, let's see how it works. I can ask the Rabbit for anything, just like if I'm using ChatGPT. The difference, though, is the speed. With Rabbit OS, I get a response 10 times faster than most of the voice AI projects. Rabbit answers my questions within 500 milliseconds. With a push-to-talk button, you don't need to say anything to wake it up. 
Just press and hold the button and talk like a walkie-talkie. Now, let's give it a shot. What's the nature of the reality? The nature of reality is a topic that has captivated the minds of philosophers and thinkers throughout history. According to Bertrand Russell, reality is composed of hard data derived from sensory experiences and logical analysis. It is the amalgamation of our perceptions, thoughts, and the external world. I can speak or type with R1. If you shake R1, a keyboard will pop up. You will also know that the response speed is much faster than using some of the LLM assistant apps with web browser, such as ChatGPT. What's the stock price of Coca-Cola? Searching for the stock price of Coca-Cola. The stock price of Coca-Cola, KO, is $59.76. So this thing can do all the basic functions of your regular smartphone. But the plus thing about it is that it can order flights, it can order Uber, it can order pizza. All you say is just, hey, I want a pizza from Pizza Hut, blah, 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 pepperoni, cheese, whatever, whatever. And then it'll pop up and say confirm and send it to your address. The whole nine, the Uber, everything. This thing is crazy. Hey, go ahead and watch the demo. The demo is on YouTube. Oh, 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 I forgot. Yo, it has this thing called the um the rabbit vision. And what it is is the, the little camera. You flip the camera and you open up your fridge and say, hey, make me a recipe. Uh, Make me a recipe with the items found in here. And the AI will just go ahead and do its thing. And it'll say, hey, blah, 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 blah. You can make this. It'll take 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's insane. It's a wrap for all these other smartphones and everything, man. Hey, it's dropping in 2024 Easter rabbit. Oh, I see what they did there. I, I find the concept of people saying it's the end of smartphones because of this device is coming out completely ridiculous. Is it a cool device? Yes, it's pretty neat. It can do everything that my phone can do in a little bit more because it's got generative AI in it. Basically, ChatGPT is all its functionality is, and it also has web access to connect to certain apps and features that you program it to do. It's not the end of smartphones. And mark my words, if not this year, next year, your Androids, your Apples, they're all going to have this technology implemented into them because it's way too crazy not to have it. Because it's already a hot commodity and people are really enjoying this. But I do not see this being a smartphone killer. I find that this is going to die really fast because they were brave enough to introduce it to the world. And now all the other big brand smartphones are going to implement that design into their phones so that the phones can do what that does. I guarantee it. Come back to this video when it happens and say, hey, you were right. Because I know I am. All right, guys. Sorry, these videos were kind of a miss for me today. A lot of them just over the head. They weren't that great for me. I, I, I feel kind of bad because these weren't that interesting of a topic. But I am going to end the video here. And with that being said, have a good day.